Yeah, um, first and foremost, I just got to thank the training staff and, and my teammates for helping me through this tough time and getting me getting me to the game. Um, uh, it was an emotional game for sure. And, um, I'm just very grateful that uh, we went out there and we ran the ball well and, and we came out with the W. Did you feel like yourself out there after, you know, extended layoff? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I, I wish I had a couple plays back. Um, but, I mean, I think it's going to continue to get better. And then the last one for me, just the run game overall. You guys get into the end zone three times. You're involved. You're kind of shoving Zach in there, you and, and Winters. Just, did you feel like, knowing what the weather was like, that you guys were going to have to assert yourselves on the ground? Did you feel like you did that? Uh, definitely. Um, I mean, and the weather kind of cleared up. And uh, it was uh, just a uh, credit to Dave for – Trusting the line, um, even with the shuffling pieces that we have going on, and and really stick to the run game. Thank you. Hey, John, it's Marcel at ESPN. Um, I know you've only been here for the, this is your second season, but what does a win like this over New England do for like, you know just this locker room, wow, this wow, franchise, the community? <laughs> what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, they're the AF, AFC East champs. Um, They've been like that for a while. Um, I mean, it was an important game because it was the next one. Uh, but I mean, we have a tough schedule coming up, and we just gotta keep playing every game like it's it's the game. True, and you know, no, it was the it was the next game. But uh, was it really that easy to just see this as anything more than the next game? Like it was easy to just write this off as. Um, week. I mean, I mean, for myself, I mean, it was, I mean, it was obviously bigger than just uh, the game itself, regardless of who the opponent was. Um, I mean, the grind that, that it took to get back here, um, two surgeries, and you know, there's a lot of, a lot of things. And it, it was a big game. Well, hey, welcome back, man, and uh, I'm glad you got out of there healthy. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, John. John Scott here. Um, how much of a priority for you was it to bring your energy and, and, and that, that uh, momentum uh, to this unit and the offense as a whole? Um, I mean, that's just how I play, man. Um, you know, like, Mike's, like Mike said in the, in the Jordan documentary, if you don't want to play like that, it's fine. But, I mean, I, 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 don't, know, I don't know anything else. Could you sense your teammates feeding off of you this this afternoon? Uh, I would hope. I hope so. Um, I mean, that's just how I play, and um, I do anything for our team. Thanks. Hey, John, Matt Fairburn here. Um, what was the energy like on the sideline as you're watching the defense trying to hang on and then, you know, they get that fumble at the end of the game? Um, I mean, no doubt. We had no doubt out there. Uh, we're preparing for four minute or, or, or two minute. Um, but man, shout out to Zim. What a great play for him. I'm so happy for him. I know people make a lot about, you know, Tom Brady's gone and, you know, New England's in transition, but how satisfying was it to beat the Patriots finally? Um, I mean, like I said, this game was my first game back and uh, it was going to be special regardless of the opponent. Um, I'm just happy to be won. Thanks, John. Hey, John, uh, happy uh, that you were able to, to get back in there, number one. Um, and number two, uh, you know, it's one thing to come back from this long layoff and go back to what you thought was going to be your, your quote, normal position, and you end up at center. Um, what, what was that like for you just to get your mind right about, you know, the transition there and doing, you know, doing your job and doing everything you needed to do to help this team win today? Um, I mean, I mean, I love playing center. I mean, it's uh, being able to uh, you know, go out there and, and – and, you know, center position, your offense is really counting on you more. And, and I love that pressure. And um, I mean, I always train. Like, I mean, coming into the league, I was always the backup center in, in Oakland. So, I mean, my habits don't really change. I'm going to, I train. I mean, I, I, I uh, 
all week I train like I'm center, just so, just so. I mean, guard play is easier when you know what everything, everything else is going on. And you can see, like the slot. I, I know when when a, when a guy's gonna cross my face, and and that's just you know, learning the defense definitely helps you out there. So, yeah, you anticipated. I, I you sufficiently was it able during the week to get some center work so that just didn't were completely like all in guard mode. Well, not not even. I didn't. I don't think I got many reps at center this uh, this week. Um, I'm just talking about like at home studying. I'm just studying. I always study like like as a center, like like being a center. Gotcha. And last thing, you're you know you're humble about this, but your your teammates. I had a long talk with Mitch the other day about it. Um, you know, when they talk about you, man, they, they, this is a tangible thing. You, what you bring uh, in nastiness and in attitude and how it rubs off. So I know you say that's just the way you play, but you, you do not, it's fuel for these other dudes. And do you, do you, do you know that? <laughs> um, I mean, I hope, I mean, I, I just want to do all I can to, to help the Buffalo Bills organization win. Um, and hopefully I'm here for a long time and we can just keep riding it out.